Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy, Holy moly. moly! Oh my God! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Who do you got? Oh my awesome. gosh! Yes, folks, I like to call Andy Myers Lodge the fishing capital of Ontario because uh, I've had some great experiences here over the years. And Julian, today we're here at a time we've never been, early summer. And this is the time when people can come up and really cream walleyes and smallmouth. Yeah, I, I love this time of year. Everyone gets excited, long winters, early ice out. It's, it's very early in the season, so a lot of the fish are shallow this time of year. And you said it, smallmouth bass. I'm hoping when we go out today, we can really show people what Eagle Lake is. And we have a beautiful brand new lodge here at Andy Myers, folks, and the accommodations, the rooms, the cabins are gorgeous. And I can't say enough about the food. The food's awful good too, isn't it? It's a great meal plan. You don't go home hungry, so. Yeah, well, we got Danny Herbeck, the star guide today, right? Well, hopefully he can put us on some fish. And we got Blake. We got Blake. So show we'll, fish us. We'll catch something, though, right? I hope so. All right. Hey, folks, the show what we're using and how we're using it, all of that coming up right after this. Hey, Blake, hand me the lure locker. That is really cool, isn't it? It sure is. This is a great way to keep your baits organized. This is made of a real durable ABS plastic, and it's really easy. You just grab the tackle box you want. I want the crankbaits right now. And with the Tack Logic technology, all your baits stay in place. But this is a great system to put in the boat and in your garage. Absolutely. For more information, go to lurelock.com. The Kales Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. Folks, with all the rain we've had this summer, what does that mean, Jack? There's lots of black flies, mosquitoes, and lots of ticks. So what do we do? We use Coleman insect repellent. And the reason, Henry, that we use Coleman insect repellent is they have a formula for everyone in the family. For the littler kids like Jack and Christina, I like the Skin Smart Deet Free. And I just put a little bit of that on them in the morning and that gives them eight hours of protection. Right, Jack? Yeah. Okay, Henry, for you and I, we're a little bit bigger, so we use the insect repellent that is called? The Sportsman Formula. Sportsman Formula. It has 40% deet in it. I put it like on you and on your legs like that, buddy. And what does that do? Um, that protects us from the bugs. For eight hours. Mm -hmm. You love your Coleman insect repellent? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. Purpose built for exploring tight technical terrain. And boasting next level versatility. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Welcome back, folks, on Famous Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Resort. And Blake, one of your favorite days of the year, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And is how big is this lake? This lake is massive. It's 88 miles long and some wow. 68,000 acres. That's why we have Danny Herbeck with us. Now, Danny, this, uh, this late June is a great time to come up here and fish walleyes, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a great time for a little bit of everything. You know, musky season's open, so if you want a musky fish, you know, the walleyes are kind of, they're starting their transition out to the main lake shallow rock piles the bass are in the backs of the bays the pike are with the walleye so you can literally catch everything within a short distance of camp and you know everything's very accessible oh danny you're going to be the first to connect as usual huh? oh, yeah. oh there's a nice walleye wait do you see this you guys grab that net that's a beautiful fish danny yeah. 
Holy cow, is that a beautiful way to start the day. And uh, boy, did he ever hammer that jerk minnow, huh? Yes, he did. Over the last couple of years, you've really gotten into using the plastics, huh? You know, like I've said time and time before, if there's big fish on a spot, they always seem to hit the plastic. And take a look at that, point the nose towards the camera, how he ate that jerk minnow. And you're just twitching it huh? off the bottom? Popping it right off the bottom, yeah. You know, about foot, foot and a half reps. Ooh, I got one up here. All right, Blake, way to go. I uh, had to switch to the minnow. Oh, that's a nice walleye. There yeah. you go. That's such a very light, light bite. That Ooh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know I had it on. But Danny, you know, that, that, that's fun when the clients get out here. And how many do you, on a good day, how many walleyes do you both? 150, 200. Are you kidding? Yeah. Wow. How was that bite, Blake? Like I said, it was very light. But yeah, I had to switch to the to the old minnow. Ooh. <laughs> you didn't do it. Danny Herbeck hook set there for me. Oh, you got to take it easy on him. OK. Ooh, right. there's a nice, that's a beautiful walleye, Danny. Yeah, ooh, doing the old flipping. Now, how many walleyes can you keep out here? On Eagle Lake, you're allowed two a day for possession. OK. And you can do a, you can you guys can do a shore lunch too, right out here? Yep, a lot of people do. It's great. It's a great way to break up your week, break up your day, you know. Well, I'm gonna cook Johnson bills for you in the boat. Oh, I'm excited for that. I think I got one. All right, well, yeah, Ooh. there you go, Blake. That's cool. <laughs> nice. And the key is staying close to the bottom, right? Yep. Yep. Cause... Oh, nice Ooh, that is a nice walleye there. Yeah, that Spitting is. Spitting up a minnow there too. Yep. I had to switch to the minnow. Now, Danny, is that above average size right there, buddy? No, this is, we catch, I mean, this is actually, it's a slot fish, but it's on the low end. Mm -hmm. We gotta find the bigger one. We're working on it. Well, that sun pop popped out, Danny, and I'll tell you what, they're, they're starting to hit the plastic again. Ooh, this one feels pretty good, buddy. Just tracking We're nice. on a big fish spot. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, he just ripped that Kalen's jerk minnow. I love that hit, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, Danny. Oh, oh, Danny, this could be a real big fish. It is a big one. I just saw him. Just keep pressure on him. Just yep. keep pressure on him, right? Nice and easy. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Lou. Folks, where do you see this walleye? It's a giant. Oh, my gosh, Danny. Danny. Whoa. Whoa. Boy, that is a beauty, isn't That's it? That's a 30-inch class That's fish. A, here he comes. Here he comes. Whoa. There we go. Cow, look at that walleye! <laughs> that is a Slobosaurus massive big fat jumbo rex, dude. That could be the biggest one I've ever caught here on Eagle, is it? No, I think you got a bigger one with me, but that's a dandy. Oh, is that gorgeous? And you know what that hit, of course. And we, well, he wasn't hooked all that well either, was he? No, he, he wasn't getting away. No, but that is interesting. You know, we struggled this morning. We probably caught 50 small walleyes. Yeah. But you said when that sun pops out, that could make a difference. Well, I think they had been deeper and now that the sun came out the big fish are they moved shallow that's an eight pounder isn't it yeah for sure that isn't fish it? came off of a four foot shallow rock no kidding yeah boy is that a beautiful fish that's huh? a dandy yeah man that hit was cool too it, yeah. you know I love yeah. that feeling that's a beauty that's two casts later and this one's big too Danny this one's big too buddy not like the last one, but he's coming right at me. He's coming right at me, pal. Holy cow, is that fun, buddy. And when they T-bone, when they T-bone that plastic, that's a good sign, isn't it? Well, when you we pull up and you catch that big one first cast and you get one, well, your next cast, Blake tangled you. So yeah, this right. Is look, look at how, I love <laughs> how, when, you, when they hit like that, you know, when they come up and they T-bone that yeah. thing, that is a cool deal, isn't it? Yeah. And that is... Yeah, a 20 uh, incher. And those are really pretty average, right? Yeah, this is, you know, what the slot protects and what keeps the lake alive is this size. Yeah. And you know what's what's really cool too, if you come up here to Andy Myers, you know, you have two kind of systems. You can go for like a hundred fish or you can go for trophy fish. Well, right? and like well, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll start off, you know, get a bunch of fish in the morning and then in the afternoon maybe switch gears and look for some big ones. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Danny. Big one. Big one, Ooh. big one. Blake, grab that net. Grab oh my that gosh. Net. Okay, That's Danny. huge. <laughs> is, it, is it huge? That's yeah. huge. Oh my gosh. There it is, there it is. 
Oh my gosh, oh. look at that one. Danny Herbeck, look wow. at that fish, dude. That's a jumbo, <laughs> buddy. That's a jumbo. And so what, what you're saying, though, <coughs> that was on a jig and minnow, Danny. Yeah, and, uh, uh, and actually uh, an oddball. Now, do you think that the jig and minnow, so if we're using plastic, somebody should use the jig and minnow because the pla plastic catches the aggressive fish? Yeah, first? typically you notice how you got them bites the first couple casts when we pulled up. Right. And then you you pick off the aggressive ones and then you got to kind of, you know, work for the for the other ones, obviously. Boy, that is another gorgeous fish. Look at mine. Hey, look at that. <laughs> there. Well, I'll get that off there, little Blake. But Danny, uh, you know, that's interesting. She's got a small fish there and you've got a jumbo. So yeah. they, they, they're not always big and little by themselves. They no. can be together, right? Yep, for sure. Especially this time of year. That was a gorgeous fish. Good job, buddy. So Julian, early in the year, this is one of the things you look for, right? When you're walleye fishing? Yeah, a little bit of weed structure. You start seeing how they're coming up. I right. Mean, that last one Danny just caught there, just off the little bit of rock, the weeds are starting to come to the surface. They're right in there. So the bait fish is in, are in those weeds too, so the walleyes are going to be there too, right? right? Right. Yeah, beautiful green cabbage. Yeah, it's nice and green. Hey, here we go, Danny. I think we've came we, up with a pattern. Yes, they seem to be off these rocky points, right? Shallow rocks. Yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. Nice, hon. Yeah, there you go. No, that is interesting. I mean, we started out the day, folks, on mid-lake structure, and then we tried some weeds and shallow rock, and, and yeah, you're right. That are, are we Did we find a pattern? It seems, well, for your first cast. Yeah, right. Both spots. Aren't those the well-built fish? Yeah, look how fat they are. Yeah, that is fun. And, you know, that was another one of those deals where I like that uh, Seaguar High Viz Smackdown line because you can actually see it jump, you yep. know, when a fish hits it. Yeah. When they're aggressive, that well, is. Well, it seems like on these shallow rocks, they're really aggressive. This morning, the graph was loaded, but they wouldn't do anything. Right. Unless yep. you had a jig and minnow. Yeah. We were fishing Eagle Lake out of Andy Myers Lodge, an 11 and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, 12 and a half hours from Chicago, and seven hours from Minneapolis. Hooked up, John! That Look at how he ate just that grub. It. Yeah. Look, Look at, at how he ate that grub. Turned the handle once, and like you said, John, he just ripped it. Man, this fish dude. just smoked it. We're but they're cool. so aggressive, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're just clobbering it. Eighth ounce Google with the five inch uh, Kalen's grub. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The e Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evanrude.com. As much as we're on the water, my dad has me changing the lower unit oil more than once a year. And every time, it's such a mess. Well, we may actually have the answer for that. Amzo's Marine Gear Lube now comes in this easy pack that'll take that entire mess away. Let me see. All right. Okay, to use this thing, you simply insert the nozzle into the lower unit. We've already have this one drained. Rotate the bag one time. And then go ahead and squeeze the gear lube into the motor. And once it comes out the vent hole here on the top, it's full. Just like that. I'll go ahead and put the plug back in. Get the other plug in it real quick. Wow, that was simple. All you need is a drain pan, an Allen wrench, and the Amsoil Easy Pack. For more information, go to amsoil.com. The Lure Lock Tackle Box system is the best way to keep your baits in great shape. You know, this system is really awesome, Blake. You never want dull hooks on your crankbaits when you're fishing. With the TackleLogic technology, your baits stay in shape and your hooks stay really sharp so you won't miss that big one on your next fishing trip. Get locked down with the Lure Lock Tackle Box. For more information, go to LureLock.com. Ooh, I got another one, Danny. 
they're in there. Oh, they? yeah, that is amazing. And in a second, folks, we'll talk about the type of structure that we're fishing. We'll actually show you. This one isn't big, Danny, but, you know, anytime you're catching walleyes like this, one after another, it's an awful lot of fun. And there are spots, we're trying to find some big fish, but there are spots where you can go and catch 50 in a row, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, not a bad walleye. But um, no, you take a look at, whenever you see a, a big rock ledge like that coming out, it's something you can try? Yeah, what you want is a projection, obviously, off of the rock. And what we have is the rock comes out, there's a little saddle, and then there's an actual an underwater rock, and that's what the fish here are relating to. Okay. More shallow rocks, huh, Danny? You betcha. Boy, that is something how we figured out a pattern. That's a nice wall. That's a real nice to flip in that big guy like that. But Danny, you know, we I think we were too deep earlier today. What do you think? Definitely. It seems like the active fish are up shallow. What was that one on, buddy? That was on a minnow. Now, hey, let's talk about, you know, July and August for walleye fishing up here. It, that's also a great time to come up, isn't it? That's probably the most consistent time of the year, I would say. Um, the fish by then are already, you know, on that main lake bite, kind of what we were trying this morning. And uh, they're in big numbers, and they're really easy to catch. You, you know what be, might be fun to do? Um, you know, we're in the middle of the day right now. Maybe go and do some bass fishing and come back for some more walleyes later. What do we you think? We could do that, for uh, sure. Smallmouth biting this time of year? It should be, yeah. Ooh, Danny, this is right after yours on the minnow. And we are going to do that bass fishing, but it's hard to leave these walleyes. This is a nice fish, Danny. Look oh, at yeah. it. Oh, is that a beauty, huh? That is a beauty. Look at that. Holy cow. You know, we started out today, folks, fishing anywhere between 15 and 20 feet of water. And we're on top. We're on the points we showed you before and shallow rock bars. And where's my jig? Gone. Look at how he ate that Kalen's jerk minnow. Isn't that something? When they're active, they love them. Yeah, and you know, when you get a bite on a minnow out here, like when you guys are fishing, did you give them any time or do you hit them right away? You give them, you know, just a split second to suck it in. Aren't those just gorgeous, well built that's, fish? That's just a real good all around. What fish. is that, a 22 maybe? Uh, he's probably 23. Today, I'm cooking the Johnsonville Better with Cheddar. They're made with 100% premium pork infused with delicious Wisconsin cheddar cheese. They're pre-cooked, so all you gotta do is throw them on the grill. And I heard you guys love Johnsonville's at Andy Myers Lodge. They are the best. All right, they take do. a bite. Wow. How good are those? Them are the best. Johnsonville better with cheddar. Find them at your favorite retailer today. Oh, you got one going? There we go. Oh, nicely done. I do want to fish smallmouth, but how can you leave this stuff, you know? This is a good one, That's too. a netter? Yeah. Okay, I'll be on it right away for you, buddy. No, we want to do some smallmouth fishing, folks, but it's hard to leave this. Ooh, that's another dandy. There, just steer him over there. Look at that. I mean, anywhere in the world where you're catching walleyes, that average size, Danny, that's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like I said, Eagle Lake is just a phenomenal fishery right now. And you know, you're seeing all different year classes, which is really cool too, you know? Yeah, yeah, we've caught them from, you know, 10, 12 inches all the way up to close to 30, you know? Yeah. Well, I still have big fish of the day. Yes, you do. Ooh, Ooh my buddy Julian. All right, buddy. Hey, that's not a bad walleye. What do you, uh, oh, that's not a bad fish at all. Yeah, that's a nice average on Eagle Lake. This one, nice color, girthy. Oh, that, yeah, that's a nice fish. Hey, you know, we're, we are going to uh, go smallmouth bass fishing, and, and that th that is something that people don't realize. This is a world-class smallmouth oh, fishery. It's an amazing, amazing fishery for smallmouth bass, and the size you'll see, hopefully, when we get on them, you see the shoulders on them, big like footballs. So folks can come up here and spend a day, you know, with a guide and fish walleye walleyes in the morning and switch to bass or lake trout. Yeah, exactly what we're kind of doing today. You know, we're, we're targeting walleyes. Now we're going to switch it up into a different gear, play the different sport. People love bass. No better fishery than Eagle Lake to do it both. And it's a beautiful day. And that's a nice walleye. Oh, Danny, that is so cool, buddy. Ooh, this is a nice bass, too. This is a nice bass. Let's get that net ready, guys. Look at the size of that fish. That is a beauty, guys. Got that net handy? Okay, thank you, sir. Beautiful fish. And you know, just kind of like we do back home in the States, you know, find a nice calm bay like this, cast wacko worms around, right, Julian? Yeah, it's sure fun. That is a beauty right there, man. Beauty killer. Yeah, yeah that's fun. They don't hesitate, man. I've already missed, I missed one before I got that one, too. <laughs> look at the, look at that. Whoa, 
Oh, this is a nice one too. I can't believe the average size on these fish, Danny. And boy, do they bolt too. I mean, that is cool. You knocked my wacko worm off the hook there, Julian. Danny, this is so much fun. I mean, folks, you don't see another boat. You don't see a house. All you got is a rocky bay like this and casting up to the shoreline and Wampola. Well, Look at that. Worm, that isn't that a, that's a real... Oh, Danny's got one. Danny's got one. Well, let's see what... Oh, Danny's got a smaller one on there, though. Hey, top water, Danny. You bet. Hey, hold those up together, though. Beautiful smallmouth bass. And nice coloring on those fish, yeah. too, huh? Yep. And uh, hey, what a deal for kids, huh, Julian, to come in and enjoy this? Yeah, it's a blast. When you're casting top water and that, they just explode. Kids love it. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. Bob Graham of Milwaukee boated this seven pound smallmouth on Sturgeon Bay on a minnow. Golden Green of Waukesha caught this 21 inch smallmouth on Pewaukee Lake on a rattle trap. Rod Sloan of Reno, Nevada, caught this 38-inch salmon in Alaska. He was using a herring. Bruce Winter of Mankato, Minnesota, caught this 40-inch northern on Pine Mountain Lake on a rip and wrap. And this week's kids winners are Chase Hubrick of Kenosha, caught this 11-inch bluegill on Loon Lake on a red worm. And Jack Musolf of Muskego caught this 22-inch bass on Lake Brittany on a shiner. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. Zebco Splash Floating Youth Combo is on sale for only $6.99. And the Easy Set Pool is on sale for $69.99. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Blackfish Performance Wear provides the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. With Cool Core Chemical Free Cooling Technology, Blackfish Gear wicks sweat away from your body so it evaporates quickly, keeping you cool, dry, and comfortable. And without chemical additives, it doesn't lose its cooling properties, even after repeat use and washing. When you need protection and comfort, choose Blackfish, because you can't choose the weather. out two new products, the Blackfish Aspire Rain Gear and the Aquajet Washdown by Johnson Pump. No, no, not me! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is powerful. <laughs> this is fun. The Aquajet Washdown by Johnson Pump provides the highest PSI in the industry. There's more than enough pressure to clean up what's left after a long day of fishing. Johnson Pump Aquajet Pump Kits, the most efficient and most powerful boat washdown kits available. And the Blackfish Aspire rain gear kept me totally dry too. For more information on the Aquajet Washdown, go to sbxflow.com. They sleep over there, head this way to the job site, and the big ones take their lunch break right about now. The Solix series, with our most powerful innovations from Mega Imaging Plus to Cross Touch to Auto Chart Live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. That was fun. Whoa! Oh, that was funny. Did you see the way that bass hit, Danny? I was yeah. working that wacko worm on top of the water. He wanted it. Oh, didn't he? he sure did. There That's he a nice one. That is a very nice fish. But I don't know if you noticed that. That was cool. Wasn't it? Mm-hmm. No, I just kind of. He's got a Johnsonville in there too. 
But no, I was twitching that, that bait on top of the water. He came back and took a swirl at it, threw it back, and he came back and grabbed it. I mean, those are just beautiful smallmouth folks. So, you know, have you ever done that, twitching a wacko on top? Yeah, not this time of year. Usually a little later, but it seems like the... They want it right now. Another topwater fish? Another topwater fish. Is there anything more exciting than seeing a, a smallie come up on topwater? No, it's so good, cool. This is a really nice one, too. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that fun on topwater, Danny? It really is. It really is. I mean, so. they just explode on that thing. And you know what? Uh, on, on a good day, you can do numbers too, obviously. I mean, oh, we've been doing this. I was out last week with a father and son, and I never fished, and we caught about 75, you know, no like this. Kidding. Yep. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Here's some incredible deals from Berkeley. 20% off Berkeley Select Lures, plus 20% off Berkeley XL and XT monofilament line. What a great deal from Fleet Farm. Head to your local Fleet Farm on Saturday, July 13th for the Fleet Farm Kids Fishing Day from 11 to 3 p.m. There we go. Oh, Danny, that was a cool <laughs> jump there, buddy. That was a cool jump. Yeah, whoa. But it seems like anywhere you see big boulders and gravel, you know, seems to be the key, right? Yeah, they're up shallow, warming up, getting done with, you know, the spawn. Yeah. Well, that you know, that's been an awful lot of fun. And, hey, before we end the day, can we go back and uh, you said there's a spot to catch eater walleyes? No, we'll try for, yeah, there you know, could be big ones, could be eaters. We'll see what we can make up. There we go. Ooh, Danny, you're just kind of crawling in the middle right alongside the boat there, huh? A lot of fish down here in this deep water that are real inactive, so, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. That's a nice walleye. Hey, Julian and Danny, I want to thank you guys for a great day of fishing. And Julian, I want to make sure that folks know when they come up here, you have a great guide staff available, don't you, Julian? I believe I have the best guide staff, John. These guys aren't glorified boat drivers. They're really knowledgeable and very good at what they do. For more information on fishing packages at Andy Myers Lodge, call 888-727-5865. 727-5865. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the backyard to the backwoods, Fleet Farm has everything you need for the perfect summer. Whether it's the training wheels are finally coming off season, we're eating out tonight season, or even pudgy pies over the campfire season. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Sure is fun to come to Eagle Lake and stay at Andy Myers Lodge. What a great day, huh? Yeah, and great fishing. We got a lot of different type of fish, and the average size is amazing. Big walleyes, right? Yep. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me. This is everything time here. Hey, 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 John Gillespie.